I've not really known where I was going in life and it really hit me when I came out of this breakup that I was an emotional wreck and I didn't really know what to do, where I was going or I just felt like I was stuck. When it came to business there, there was no like direction really of what I was doing and it sent me into a period of reflection. My emotions were all over the place. I couldn't, I didn't have any energy to put towards recording videos. I didn't put, have any energy barely scraping by with clients. And I was like, just stuck. Cause I was like, if I don't do the work, I'm going to be stuck here. And then I was like, am I being lazy? Am I not being lazy? Why am I not doing the work? What is stopping me doing the work? No matter how hard I tried, I would do bits, I would do bouts where I would do start with one client, finish it, and then I'd be like, I am too drained to do any more. And I was like, why is my energy so, so low? On top of that, I had enrolled in a new course to take my passion of astrology to a more professional level where I wanted to learn. So I've done a level one astrology course, which I'm now just about to go into level two. And I was like, I just couldn't work out what was going on. And the truth of the matter is I was burnt out. I was stuck and I was burnt out. I'd lost the whole reason on why I started internet marketing. I'd start, lost the whole reason what this business was meant to be. And I could tell you loads of stories that around that time that have pushed me to this position. I think the main thing is for this video, I was in a place back then where I was working night shift in psychiatry it's something I've always done. I've maintained that the whole way throughout, just reducing hours. That's where I started. That was my roots. That's what I knew. And I wanted out because I didn't like the structure, the rigid structure of be here at this time, be here at that time. You can only earn how much you can earn. There was just too much rigid structure that I didn't want in my life. And it made me look, you do what everybody else does, where you, how to make money online, and that was the beginning to this. I wanted out of a job that I didn't have a boss, that I could work when it suited me, when I was most productive, and that I could also spend time with my family, with my friends, doing things that I wanted to do, doing things that would light me up. If you'd asked me back then why I started this, I'd have probably have told you I was looking for money. I wanted to be more financially stable. I was doing what a lot of people do, and that's chasing the vehicle, not chasing the destination. Because what, what, what's going to happen once you get the money that you're chasing? You're going to want something else. But what is that? What does the money give you that you can now achieve? And I'd lost touch with the reason why I actually wanted to do this. And it figures, like, because I had a good win back in 2015, where financially I was good and it didn't make me do anything right, <laughs> or it didn't make me closer to that goal, yeah? Even though it could have, I ended up, instead of reinvesting back into that business, I decided to spend the money on something new. That wasn't the best option, I should have been reinvesting back into that. So because I didn't do that, and then there was loads of other things, shiny object syndrome is me, that is the definition of me. And that's what I was like, typical Gemini. So basically what I'm saying is I lost touch. I started highly produced videos. I started YouTube. I built my audience up to about 10,000. Lost it all when I decided that it was time to move on to the next thing. So all these times I'd been going through my life, building assets, destroying them, building assets, destroying them, building assets, destroying them. And the one thing that stuck was, well, if I take on more clients, then I'll get money. If I take on more clients, I'll get money. But I wanted to stop trading my time for money, yeah? And I kept on going on this cycle of clients, money, clients, money. But I'd lost the whole journey of where I was actually heading, which made me create content that was around views, which was around what 100 other creators create. And I just fell out of love with that whole culture, the hustling grind culture where you must post 
like one video a day or one this that you must do this and you must do that and having worked with clients i know that you do not have to do that to make money online but for me in my business i had to do that because that's what other people were doing but that's not why i started this journey i didn't start this journey for any of that i started this journey to make give me more freedom to be able to work where i wanted to work when i wanted to work and yes having clients does that but i was escaping this rigid structure of a job to create another rigid structure of a job except instead of having one boss i then had sometimes 20 bosses who all wanted results who all wanted the work who all wanted this and who all wanted that I tried delegating and giving out, outsourcing to other people and I was never ever 100% satisfied with the result back and that has been my life and I think the relationship that I mentioned that was the turning point that was the bit where I was like okay something needs to change here and during the period of like where do I turn what do I do going through that period of reflection it's like I don't want the hustle and grind culture I don't want to be told what I should be creating I don't want to be told what I should be doing this is my business this is how I should be running it yeah <laughs> and when you're trying to do be like everybody else you forget who you are you forget who you are inside and that's the biggest thing over the last 15 years I didn't actually know who I was anymore my relationships were a mess my home life was up and down depending on what was going on that month and things that did light me up at once before didn't light me up anymore you could probably have said I was probably on the brink of depression that is where I've been that is what I've been doing and this is me coming back this is the new what this channel is all about and what my business is and if I'm honest I don't even know the answer to that myself really we'll see as this channel develops but I know what I want to do is I want to post videos like this where I'm just talking to a camera I don't have to have it mega produced that was the one thing for me when I was trying to stick and be consistent with YouTube before I had to have it meticulously edited in a way that would take three, four days to edit a five minute video. Whereas now I'm like, well, that's kind of not what I'm about, like why I want this to do this. I want to be authentic. I want to be able to share stories of what I've done, but not all the things I've done tie into a keyword or tie into what another guru's done, which is what makes me unique and why I would hope that people would follow me. Going forward, this is the format, talking to a camera, if I've got a little bit of B-roll, if I've got this or that, and it, I want to do it, I'll do it. But if not, I just want to give you value, like talking, without all the cuts and edits and that jump cuts. and Because the more I think about it, that jump cut editing, I don't even watch that kind of video myself. If I go into a video and it's got a big zoom in and then they zoom back out and then they do all this, I usually skip it. Yeah, my brain, the dopamine levels can't handle it. So I'm like, I'm trying to create these videos that aren't even me so going forward that's like well and truly out <laughs> we're not going to be doing them meticulous edits that are like zooming in and zooming out and jumping here and jumping there and it will be a more relaxing channel a relaxed viewing experience that is the goal the three topics i'm going to focus on because i feel like as humans we are multifaceted beings and I know that people tell you to stick to a niche, but I always feel like when you stick to a niche, you're boxing yourself in, it becomes hard to pivot, it becomes hard to do anything. So I kind of feel, for me, I want to be able to go here, or I want to be able to go there. And if it fits the same sort of person that I want to follow me, then I feel like it'll be a good mix, yeah? So for me, my experience is business consultant, marketing consultant, sales consultant, mental health even because of psychiatry so i do i do do a lot of stuff with mental health as well so i think business mindset is a good way to put that topic and then astrology it's something i've never spoke about on this channel 
something I've never really spoke about in any sort of platform. So, but it's something that I'm really passionate about. And it's something that I feel has helped me get from that period of feeling stuck and not really knowing where I'm going to at least have a slight idea, yeah? And things to watch out for and things to help me and things to make me feel better. And I think that's what's what people are needing is just something to make them feel that bit better to help you when you're feeling stuck. It's, it's my journey to wherever this is going. I know what my end goal is. I want the freedom lifestyle where I can go and travel and I can do all the nice things and not have to worry about money, not have to worry about a job. I can take my work with me. And because it's my business and it's designed around my life, then it will suit wherever I go. Yeah, that's the end goal. From here to there, I don't really have a plan. Which sounds crazy when I say it, but I don't. When I do get that plan, I'll be sure to communicate it with you or give you some video around something that will help with this plan. I really just want to test things and see where it goes and do what I want to do. And hopefully my goal is if I can help one person, just one person, and the video has been a success. Yeah, views, all that stuff, subscribers, I cherish you like 100%, but I don't, I don't want to fall into that trap again of where it's all about the high end edit and all this stuff. I just want to help one person. With every video I create, if I can help one person, then I feel like that video has been a success. That's basically this video. If you, I hope you've liked it. I hope you've enjoyed it. If there's anything, like if you've got any questions or any advice or anything, please stick it down in the comments. I can't wait to the next one. I don't have any idea of what that is or what it'll be. Again, I hope I can give you something that is at least helps you in some way, shape or form.